So let's talk about how to organize my books and my stationery. Grab a cup of coffee, grab your planner or your commonplace notebook. We're going to talk about how I organize my books and my stationery. And this is right here a prime view. Here is another view of an organization tool that I have used. This is from the container store. We will get into that in a minute. But first, let's talk about how I organize my books. All right, everyone. So I had plenty of questions about how I organize, how many commonplace notebooks do I have, how do I categorize things, which I've explained. I'm just going to quickly go over that. I will try to link a video talking about how I organize my commonplace books because I did make a video about that. But we're talking about how I organize my notebook. So each notebook here, so far I have two, right? And then I'm gonna take out the most recent completed commonplace notebook. Okay, so this right here is definitely a chunkster. I have missed her just holding her. She's just fabulous, I love it. And definitely some pages uh, do stick out a little bit, but we're gonna talk about how I categorize these. So as you can see here, these are the three commonplace notebooks you could say that I have had this year in 2023 and the way i organize it is basically commonplace notebooks and this is a specific subject commonplace notebook and i'm going to talk about what subject this is but this right here is just my regular commonplace notebook so this i usually kind of put the year and i will always go ahead and put the month it starts so i always try to make sure i put stickers here and I will file these and archive these based on the year. So this is a 2023 commonplace notebook that I use from April of 2023 all the way till the beginning of August. And I'm still in the process of using the back as an index. So this right here is one notebook. But if you are someone who really, really wants to organize it by the year and you don't want to kind of stick any stickers, simple, simple solution is I'm going to show you right now. Um, and this is very, very much real life. So we are going to put April to August 20. 23 okay so obviously once i got done i'm gonna put that date there you can see the date i write very very small but there goes it's april to august 2023 so i have that and i have this once i finish this i can go ahead and write the date started so if i want to put like you know, I, I believe this started what day? August 11th, right? So I could put August 11th here. And I know it's 2023, but I don't know if this will actually go into 2024. So I'm not going to put the year there. So that is how I organize those books by year and months. And commonplace notebooks are multiple categories. So I'm going to show you up close look of this newest one i have happy mail articles podcasts and videos pop culture and movies mood and thoughts books and chapter notes and this is my category for this book and then for this book i have four categories right so i have mood and thoughts pop culture movies articles and content and books so i was trying to put like three subjects in the blue one and then happy mail um, and I decided to add the yellow or the, the kind of like light yellow here because I wanted to kind of have more space for books and make it more specific. So that's what I did and that's how I organized those. And then for this one, this is a social media commonplace book. So anything social media, if I'm listening to a podcast, if I'm watching videos, um, see I was writing about email marketing, um, you know, just kind of like brand mastery, things like that. So this is very like social media specific. And this, I know it is for social media purposes. So I already have, you know, some information here, but the same thing, if I want to go ahead and write what year it is, if I want to go write the subject, I can, but I already know just by looking at the contents inside, this is very specific 
to social media. So that's why I have it here. And the way that I organize these three books is just like that, right? So this one technically right now is archived and it goes in my archive drawer. Being that these books are so small, what I love about them, and I could put them either this way, I could put them this way if I want to in a box once I finish them. And I could just kind of put them away just like this. It really is a lot less room when the books are smaller. Um, they are thicker though, so I am gonna say that it is thicker. And if I wanna keep the books, I can keep the books in a drawer and I could just start placing them side by side with one another. And I really do like this size. So basically you can either organize it by year, by the months that you used it or by subject. So this is, like I said, social media, this is commonplace notebooks and there's multiple subjects in these notebooks and I just organize it by the year and the months I use them and then when I archive them they literally either go like this or like this whichever way you prefer depends how tall your drawers are so that is that I hope that explains that part of it and then we're gonna go right into stationery so I like to organize my stationery using uh, things that I purchase either from Target or recycling products. This is an actual gum container and what I did was, you know, kind of remove the gum obviously because I finished chewing it and I use this to place small stickers. Now all these stickers are from Marshmallow Studios. I always have an extra ruler. This ruler is by cloth and paper and these stickers are so small that they just fit perfectly, right? These stickers are re really cute and the style planner. I have Fabuloso here. Um, so I have things here, right? And then I have my little kind of like fall little sticker kit here. And I absolutely love this in winter because these are like my favorite seasons. So I made sure I had those. So these are small enough that it can go straight in here. And let me kind of fix that because now I think I just messed the, the style planner stickers by bending it just a little. And literally all I do is put these stickers here. I know that these are Marshmallow Studios and the Style Planner stickers. Obviously, it's a clear container, so it's very easy to read. And then I put my ruler in here and close it up, and that's that. Like, I could take these on the go, and it's very thin. It's very small. It's it's a gum container. Now, this one here is a little larger. This is another kind of, like, sticker slash washi container. I have a planning with aloe laminate. Um, she is on Instagram and you could also find her on Etsy. Then I have like some, you know, die cut stickers here and some sayings here just to have a cute little like space for that. And then I have washi tape cards that I just made and I have several washi tapes here, just like my go-to neutral colors. So that is it. And then I have my sweet freckled design stickers right here. So these are always fun to have because I use them in my planner and at times I will use them in my commonplace book. These are all like style planner stickers or Mr. and Mrs. Mint stickers. They're very cute, very small, perfect in the way that they fit. So that fits there. And this, let me tell you, fits a lot. Uh, a little sticky note. This is from Lucy Plans Life. It's so small. Look at that. And then this is from Daiso. We have a Daiso store here where we live. So not close by, but you know, you get the point. This is a cash breakdown. This is for whenever I go to the bank with my dad, I just basically write that information in. And then this is more Marshmallow Studio stickers. And I have really been noticing that my sticker purchasing has been way less because what I like doing now is kind of printing out my own stickers like not stickers but like photos in a Polaroid format using Canva and I make an in half sheet and basically kind of fill in little Polaroids and kind of make that to a printable PDF and then I print it and then I cut them out using my Fiskars. So that is that. So these are the two main ones that go in here. And then I'm gonna show you like this goes in here and the way I normally carry my planner stuff. And then my planner, this is my planner here and this is my commonplace book. I literally stick it in here and then that is that. Like I don't even take my social media commonplace book because this is more like a learning book. It stays by my desk. So that I don't, but this one I do and it literally fits 
everything in here. And if I wanted to stick my pens or two pens in there, I can. But there's this wonderful pouch. This is the Laurel Denise pouch. This pouch fits so many things. Like I have tape in here. I have a whole bunch of markers, pens, erasers, washi tape cutter, this cute little pen from cloth and paper that I purchased. It's the Muji One um, or Uni One. I said Muji One, Uni One. And as you can see, this thing still has so much room. Like it literally has so much room. So even if I wanted to take these two things with me, I can because they're not very big. They just can fit nicely and they're packaged nicely. So now we're gonna go into just regular kind of like stationary things. I have, <laughs> so everyone started basically following me because I was in a pocket planner. And I do, I, I could tell you right now, it's so funny, I started with pocket size, like A5 and pocket size, then completely went to pocket size. And all I have here are all the pocket size things I purchased. So what, basically what I do is if I feel inspired or if I want to add something to, right, this is beautiful. This is by Little Mag Magic Prince. How can you not, like, I love that so much. I can't see myself, like, throwing that out. So I just kind of keep it there because if I get inspired, I can either, like, cut out, you know, these little beautiful, uh... <laughs> cards i could cut these cards or i could turn them into kind of ephemera that goes inside my commonplace planner but my favorite thing that i've been using and it's not been the dashboards it has been these printable dashboards that i've had here so or some dashboards that i purchased so right now i have this here right and this is all like dashboards this one I purchased, 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 purchased. This was a freebie. She no longer is like a planner account. She's more like a lifestyle account now. Um, but yeah, so these are like freebies. Some of them are purchased. So when I get inspired, I basically will cut this part out and then put them inside my commonplace planner. And that that's how I've been reusing these dashboards and then on top of that it stays inside my notebook because right i'm not going to throw out my commonplace notebooks at all then this is a purchase that i made off etsy that they, it just came like that with tags i have the color sticker dots from daiso this is also from daiso these are very cute this is from daiso so this is going to be my next set of commonplacing like i have the stickers here and it comes with 280 and then i have these stickers here from daiso which are really cute, right? I have die cut stickers here. This is another one that's really cute. And then I bought an extra set, y'all. So I have plenty of these. And then I bought this, which these are dots. These are not even like full frames. They say you can use it as full frame, but I had difficulty kind of taking off the entire picture. So I just use them as dots. So there goes that. And then of course I have my fountain pens here, but with these fountain pens, I have not been using them, to be honest, in my commonplace book. I should. Um, the only reason I haven't been using them is because I originally got them for the Traveler's Notebooks. And I don't know why I have, like, this theory or perception, like, oh my god, I cannot use these pens in my commonplace notebook. It's the same type of, like, almost paper. And I should be using it because um, I'm using this ink and this ink dries super, super quick. I'm gonna try to put the brands that I purchased from. This is a Lamy, this is a Lamy, this is a Lamy. This is a Twisby. This is a Kawaiko, and this is a Kawaiko. And then this, because I know I'm gonna get asked, is from Gallon Leather, okay? And this is a beautiful pen case holder. That's all I need. I'm not trying to buy 50,000 pens. I just want a good amount of pens that I like and I, I can choose. And then I could just hold them here and that's that. Right here, this is my fun area, right? This is where I kind of like take all my ephemera. So all my ephemera that I purchase, I usually categorize them. So these are like pet tags, anything with tags, right? Anything that I can use in my commonplace book as tags, as tape, as tickets. This is where this goes, okay? Then these are all the stamps. So like this is like the, the Queen Elizabeth stamps here. Then I have more tags here, like more tags, more little like see-through stickers here, other 
other tags. I love these, by the way. Like, I need to use some of these. I think I'm going to use, like, one or two of these today in, like, a spread. Because these are so cute. I just love the way they look. They look so old school. And, yeah, you can't go wrong with these. These are really, really nice. Then I have my uh, corner cutter. I have the Traveler's Company pen holder here. I have white out and I have more like that two-sided tape. Then I have the Hanoki tags that I bought from a while ago, like just from a collection they release. More papers here. Here goes all my pet tape stickers. And I kind of put this in the wrong place. I just realized this. Okay, so these are where the pet tape girlies go. And I purchased like, you know, a couple of them. And I cut them out so that way I don't have to like forage for them forever. And then here are the other ones that I purchased in a row. And I just cut them up so that way they are visible. And I, it's easier for me just to get like the one or two, you know, just depending on my mood. And then this, this is from Paper Minty Studio, by the way. But this is like ephemera. So this is like the last ephemera that I bought, like going to Barnes and Nobles. And these papers over here need to go where my papers go. So this is all basically like miscellaneous ephemera. So anything that I have here that's like tags or, you know, uh, <laughs> paper wise, anything that I can utilize in terms of just within my commonplace book. Like I have so many things like really, you could see it's just like a whole bunch of different types of textures and types of ephemera and I literally just put it back there and then these are tags that I also purchased and that goes right in here so I stick that in there and this is basically like all my papers like any type of papers like this is paper right here this is more paper right here and then this is like old school stickers that are really nice and then depending on what my theme is for my common placing that's what i use it for and this came from the hinoki line again i just love these they're just so nice and then the last thing here is my old travelers notebook that i bought it's not old listen i haven't even written in it this is so beautiful. I just love the paper, but I just love this cover. I love the way I designed the cover. It looks so pretty. I have literally clips here from Traveler's Company and the Hinoki line. And then here are the covers that I bought from Cat Espresso Co. And what I just noticed is that I could kind of wrap this around my Sterling Ink book if I want to, but I've kind of been keeping them here just like a safe place. And then here goes another one that I turned into like a sticker book, which has numbers, it has stickers, it has all these things. So like, you know, it's a theme that I have going on here. So that's that. And then I have my old traveler's notebook, like little goodies here. So I do have a lot of things. And as you can see, I like keeping certain things because you never know when you're going to need it or want it or just kind of like you know get inspired to use it again so so that is everything that i have i hope you really enjoyed this video i know it was a long one i hope you grabbed a cup of coffee grabbed yourself something to drink and i hope you enjoyed until the next video thanks for watching Bye bye